Hello, Asimo. Welcome, Mark. It's nice to meet you. I'm Asimo. Nice to meet you, too. I am deal like to introduce myself with sign language. My name is Asimo. Well done. Pleased to see you. Pleased to see you too. Can I shake your hand? Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Please come this way. Thank you. Let me follow you. Asimo has been programmed to walk slowly when guiding people. Let's play soccer. I'd love to play soccer with you. By the way, you also played soccer with Barack Obama, didn't you? <laughs> Shall I place the ball for you? There you go. Now I'll go over here and wait for your kick. Okay. Here I go. Oh, nice kick, Asimo. <laughs> Asimo, let's do this again. This time, I'm going to put the ball in a different place. Okay, Asimo, anytime you're ready. Asimo determines the ideal position from where to kick the ball. Here I go. Wow, you knew exactly where the ball was. Next, I run. You run? Wow, please show me how you do that too. It runs fast and it keeps its balance. Next, Asimo demonstrates its ability to jump on one foot. Its hip, knee and ankle joints work together to perfectly absorb the impact of every jump. Asimo can also remain perfectly balanced on one leg. We've been working for a lot of years on understanding walking and running. We started with Atreus. Atreus really showed the, the base features that we wanted to show about legged locomotion. So Cassie is the newest bipedal robot out of our lab. We added a few motors for degrees of freedom, so that enables us to like stand in place, sit down, crouch, squat. had to upgrade pretty much everything from Atreus to get the size down. We've had to build a lithium ion battery pack. We looked around to having people build it for us and the two markets for that really exist in electric vehicles and home backup power and those are both just way too large for our applications. 
We did a lot of our own custom designs for Cassie because we didn't have access to off-the-shelf components that performed as well as we could make perform ourselves. We're doing something that no one really knows how to do yet. And by doing it, we're learning what's correct. We're learning what the right answers are. There are a lot of robots out there that will take one step and put one step in front of the other, but they take a huge amount of energy to do it. Or any small disturbance, these robots that are just sort of demonstrations will fall over the scale. There's only a few robots that are even close to Cassie as far as being able to dynamically walk around. Having only two legs is a much more complicated problem that we don't fully understand yet as compared to four legs. You know, a biped, and you can think of a two-legged table, is not going to be very stable. So there's a lot you have to do there. You really have to move your feet around. If you think about any sort of disaster scenario where they say, do we have any robots that can go into this space? The answer is always, not yet. Imagine you've got a fire in a building and the fire chief isn't really sure if somebody's still in the building. And they have to make a difficult decision about whether they're gonna send one of their firefighters in. Is this dangerous? If you have a robot that has the same capabilities as a person, you wouldn't think twice about sending that robot. So that's my guiding star, is putting this out into the world and making something actually useful.